The Quebec Provincial Police cold case website has 291 unsolved murders, and as of this week, one the cold case squad believes it's solved. Guylaine Potvin had just turned 19 years old in April of 2000 when she was sexually assaulted and murdered. She was a student living on campus in Jonquière with roommates. She was alone when someone broke in. Retired police officer Bruno Cormier was the first investigator on the scene when Potvin's body was found. This week, he received news he's hoped to hear for 22 years, an arrest. He says there's finally a certain freedom. It was a case that still bothered every officer involved. Marc-André Grenon was picked up by police Wednesday morning at his home in Granby, Quebec. The 47-year-old worked at a grocery distribution center. This is Grenon at a conference on self-help in 2017. He described himself as having been in his past a loner with few friends and no support. He called himself a heavy case. Well, Grenon appeared by video conference Thursday before a judge charged with Potvin's murder and then just minutes later in front of a judge in another case. Only three months after Potvin, another student was violently sexually assaulted in Quebec City. She was left for dead but survived. Grenon was charged with attempted murder in that case. Potvin's parents say there is a mix right now of sadness and relief. Not knowing who killed their daughter has been hard. Now, police linked the two cases years ago with DNA evidence. They were just never able to link them to a suspect. They're not saying how they did that now, only that technology has improved. Now, one thing Grenon mentions in the video is that he rarely lived in one place for long. Well, police say because he moved often, he may have committed crimes in other parts of the province. They're now looking for other victims in other unsolved crimes. Mike Armstrong, Global News.